Hello there and hello to you too. Vlogging Gibster, I'm back for a new episode of Pokemon the Alternate Take. Sit down, get comfy, let's see what we'll make. And I'm back here for a surprise episode. Thought I'd slot this one in because I have time. Anyway, so in, la in the last episode, which was yesterday, I will only be doing one episode tomorrow. So I guess maybe two, maybe I'll be able to do one in as well. Anyway, so in the last episode we redesigned Dartrix, the evolution of Rylant, the grass starter of the Alola region, this is how it turned out and in today's episode we will be redesigning one of two possible final evolutions, one being the grass and ghost type Decidueye. So we will, so we will be doing that now, first of all. There's the feather. I'll add the cut in a second. Thought I'd sort of not add them on the same line, just different. Of course, there's the beak. That's where the other eye would be, however, I'm just going to sketch out the head first, like, no, right where it would end there. Okay, that's really not going how I wanted to. Yeah, there we go. And then how about some more feathery aspects here on the hood? And we're just going to add that piece there, the leaves. Hmm. 
<laughs> and then I'm gonna add some feathers here. Because the wing will be here. I could probably get that wing on. These are quite drastically different. the spots again. And here comes the spectre part. Even the tail is going to be spectery. Oh, and of course, I have to add the bow strings. And then, of course, the next step, we'll be doing the last wing. Which is going to be similar in shape to the way it was for Dartrix. Because, just, just yeah, I like it like that. Sort of wings that are sort of curved like that. I guess you could say it shows expression in the bird. I even have it in one of my legendaries for my region who is a bird based on a Greek god known as Uranus. It's not spelt the same way as the planet Uranus. Sports. And then to add, of course, the quills that will become arrows. Of course, for moves like his signature move, which is Spirit Shackle, and then, of course, for his special Z move which is Sinister Arrow Raid in which he uses his spectral arrows. Which he of course shoots with these vines that act as bowstrings because that is Decidueye's whole concept of being a spectral archer. And that's going to be it for today's redesign on Decidueye, of course, the final one of two final evolutions of the grass starter of the Alola region. And in the next episode, which will be tomorrow, around the same time, of course, because I have school, we will be doing the 
second possible evolution, the grass and fighting type Hisuian decidui, which can only happen, which the only way to get it is if you existed like around 150 years ago, brought your Rowlet to Hisui, and then evolved it then, because of course, you know, there it's extinct now, the species ex is extinct, or you could revive it with a fossil, which because in photo leaks of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the new Pokemon games that are going to come out at the end of this year, there is actually the player battling a trainer that has a Hisuian Zoroark. So maybe then you would be able to revive the Hisuian forms. That includes Hisuian Decidueye. Maybe Hisuian Decidueye. Anyway, see you guys next time.